The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. all humankind this is salvation future generations will remember our triumph today the thargoid threat consigned to the past with my guidance azimuth has constructed the means to destroy our enemy my final gift Born from a century of sacrifice. The Proteus Wave. Our victory is delivered in this moment. Humanity's next great chapter begins now. Proteus Wave is online, Commodore Halloran. Surface site readings are stable. Initiate countdown sequence. 20, 19, 18. Multiple Thargoid interceptors approaching. Just a few more seconds. has been successfully deployed. Analyzing Thargoid vessels. No life signs. And the rest of the Thargoid fleet? Similar reports from across the system. They're shutting down. We finally did it. Wait. I'm picking up an energy surge near... No, from the Proteus wave site. Thargoid markers, but amplified past anything I've seen. the weapon down! No! I want to stop it! Caleb Witcherly plugged his Proteus Wave super weapon into a Thargoid base, which in turn made everything at said base go wrong. Now, it is rogue guardian technology, and I figure the only way we could stop it is with more guardian technology. Guardian Thargoid hybrid technology. Now, we can't get to the surface of that planet to do anything about the Proteus wave. However, we do have a surface base that we've been abusing the crap out of and making regular visits to with a larger ship. Now, one thing that you may not have known is that by plugging by plugging guardian relics 
into these bases, we could effectively make them have a little have an allergic reaction. However, now though, I think we can use this as I think we can use this to find a new way to stop them. Now, if I could just find some place to park. We've been here before, some of you may remember, from last week, I think it was. Yeah, because I made the announcement that we're going to shotgun these episodes. No gravity warning. Okay. Five assist off. Some of you may not remember. However... Where is it? Where is it? Don't tell me it fell down the cliff. Come on, bastard, you scan me on the way in. I need this real quick. One second. Cargo scoop destroyed. One second. Okay. Oh my god, it is, it is actually rolling down the hill. God damn it. Yeah, now you can kind of see it. A Thargoid sensor. It will slowly corrode our rover until we can get it back on board. Where I have an anti-corrosion cargo rack waiting for it. Distributor just took a hit. It's all right, we're parked like right next to it. Perfect. Cargo scoop retracted. <sighs> all right, that's step one. Step two, we gotta go all the way to Guardian Space. Alright, this is NL-NC23-4. A very, very popular destination for people seeking out Guardian artifacts. Don't believe that statement? Here, give me one second and I'll prove it. It's a very popular destination. I am gonna land right on this thing. And there is not a damn thing anyone can do to stop me. It's my birthday, I'll do what I want. <laughs> what day is it? It's Tuesday. That's the 16th. It is my birthday. <laughs> and there's not a damn thing anybody can do to stop me. Anytime I bring the anaconda out here, we gotta... Find a parking space nearby. Figure out if it's flat. And we gotta go all the way into the place itself. It's a nightmare. I like this thing. This little thing is like, no, you could just park wherever. Look at the size of this thing. It's, it's, it's about one-fifth the length of the anaconda. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Take the convenient little land bridge up to the top of the mountain. This is a mountain layout. There are three layouts that I have named for Guardian Ruins. This one is the mountain. There's also the library and the fortress. Well, the fort. The fortress is where you get the starship blueprints. 
Not that we have a use for those at the moment. We're mostly here for guardian relics. There we go. Just go along the racetrack. This one will pop up. Aha. Uh -huh. Fantastic. That's one. I'm looking to get six. I picked up a second probe while I was at the crash site. So... If the first attempt fails, we'll have another shot. And if the first one does go well, we can get... Six. Total. Fantastic. Lovely. Alright. I think there's one more in the middle. Inside of the crater itself. What is that? Urn. <sighs> Nifty little machine, isn't it? Yeah, we're still getting use out of the scarab. Mostly because this... For those of you who don't know, the cargo hold on the scarab got buffed. There it goes. Okay. The cargo hold on the scarab got buffed, so it can carry up to four now. Alright. Let's see if she can climb her way on out of here. Oh yeah, very easily. She'll make it back up to the racetrack, no problem. This is what I call the racetrack, because it would be so cool if we had scarabs going around here in a race. What's that? It's a totem. Huh. Where'd that come from? I think that was supposed to be under a pile of rocks somewhere. Okay, where did we park? <sighs> Hang on. I'm pretty sure it can climb this. The gravity here isn't very high. There we are. Ah. In and out. We don't need any data. Absolutely none. I do need guardian tech components, but uh, we'll um, we'll save that for another trip. Yeah, during the video archaeology with a tank, I said that that might be my last trip out to guardian space. And here we are, with yet another reason to like, go out to Guardian Space. Yeah, <sighs> okay. Let's get back on board. I'm not gonna bother, uh, re-logging here. I'll just go to a different site. Maybe the library. I know that there's a library on this particular planet. I've been to this specific site a number of times. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, sorry about this, but site number two is on the dark side of the planet, and from the looks of it, it's another mountain. Huh. I thought I thought it was a library layout. Huh. Okay, well. No sweat, we'll just do what we did before. We'll be in and out in five minutes. In fact, I want to try landing on the rim. On the racetrack itself. Landing gear deployed. Hmm. Searching. Searching for a suitable site. Give me one second. 
This looks good here. No. Wait, wait, wait. It's gonna allow it. It's sh <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> An even more direct way in. We'll just do a big loop around the racetrack. And that will be how we get our relics. <laughs> that is a legitimately great parking space. <laughs> okay. Great parking aside, let's get to work. Hmm. Odd. The guns aren't doing anything, they're at full power. Humor me for a second. That works. Knocks it right off. Perfect. Hmm, I'm not sure. I didn't say anything to you. God damn it. God damn it, why? <sighs> Alright, let's hope that's the only one that's broken. Fuck it, we're here. Might as well. Pattern Delta. Pretty sure I got plenty of those. I mean, what was I supposed to do? It was sitting right next to me. It's whatever. This one, too. Huh. Alright. Don't retract the cargo scoop, I'm not done with it yet. I'm stepping out of the car to take two shots at this thing. Just stop undoing all my shit. You turn off the night vision too for absolutely no reason. God, I love that parking space. <laughs> what if we ram it? Like, ram the relic with a car. Alright, let me get up. I don't expect this one to cooperate either. Nope. Alright. Hop back out. I don't know how that first shot missed. God, I need fucking night vision on this suit. <sighs> Alright. And that is six relics. Next stop... The Pleiades. Oh boy. This is a new site. Not the one that we visited the last two times we did this. This one is still known to be active. But I see no reason why we can't just 
fly down and park in the middle. It would save us some time, not to mention structural integrity on the rover. That is darker than I thought it would be. Gravity on this planet is a bit higher. It took me three probes instead of the usual two to scan this. My probes are better than the standard probes, but... It recommended six. Okay. Doors right there. Alignment is good. Okay. We just parked right in the middle of a Thargoid base. And there is not a damn thing they can do to stop me. It has been two days since Caleb fired the Proteus wave. And provided scavengers don't show up and start trying to pick apart my ship, we should be fine. Okay, we need one sensor and three relics. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. The sensor is honestly just so we can get inside. Once we are inside, we won't really need it anymore. Alright, here we go. As usual. Uh, looks like the entryway on this one's a little derped out. Alright. Oh. Power distributor just took a hit. Ah, oh, God. You guys are still here. Well, if you don't like humans, you're gonna be mad about what I'm about to do. <laughs> really mad. Life support just took a hit. Alright, they're gonna hate this. Okay. The device. We're still not entirely sure how this thing works. Sensor fragments. I remember when we came out here to grab those, and pretty much nothing else. Alright. What are you looking at? Look away. All right, she is struggling, so... Sounds like it took it. Yep. Yep, it did. All right. Why don't we go ahead and... drop the sensor. Just so we don't have to worry about that corroding us while we work. Being in here isn't going to do anything. That one was asking for, a, I think, a link. Well, too bad. You're getting this blue thing, which I know you hate. I know you hate the Guardians. It is actually known that the Guardians had wars with the Thargoids. Wars that they won. So, there's hoping that this right here leads to our next giant leap. And we come up with some new way to destroy the 
Thargoids. Okay. Now what? Hit the data link scanner. Oh, Jesus. It wasn't doing this the first time. We just got a huge heat spike. Oh, my God. Whoa. Taking heat damage. A lot of heat damage. We can't leave without the thing. Shit. We're at a hundred and sixty two heat. I can't guarantee we're gonna be able to grab them. <sighs> Back away from it for a sec. Whew. We need to cool off like something real fierce. I've never seen the temperature gauge go that high. <sighs> oh my god. Cool off. I want to put more power into the systems and hope that it, that'll feed into the cooling system. At least a little bit. Give us more time to work. Somehow. I got one. <sighs> okay. There are three of them in there. I want them to. Uh oh. I'm having weapon malfunctions. It's likely due to heat damage. I thought it locked me out there for a second. Okay. This is far enough away that we're not getting hit by the heat. 36%. Yeah, we're fine here. Checking systems. Nothing is looking good. In fact, the whole structure is at 0%. How do I know? That's power. Okay. Cargo hatch and life support are not looking good. Okay. I'm going in for the other two. Where are they? Okay, so it's not the... Like I said, they are mad. They did not like that. How do we shut it off? I'm gonna have to jump and grab it. That's two! Alright, hang on. What is the integrity of that thing at? Hang on.
Canopy's good, life support bad. The shields just died. Oh, that would be why. Fuck it. We need to move. These things are going to rip us to shreds. I can't, I can't, I can't move. Shit. We cannot lose this car. Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. No! You gotta be fucking kidding me. I need to get to Maya. Hey, are these Thargoid sensors still illegal? I think we're about to find out. Anyway, we really just need a station right now that can... get us a new SRV as quickly as possible. Hopefully we can just get in, get out. I would have liked to have a mega ship instead, because we're way less likely to be scanned on our way in. Ideally, I should have turned on silent running, but at this point... Whew, nice. No auto dock on this thing. I had to put in a corrosion resistant cargo rack. <sighs> We're going back. Just give it a little bit. Give me a little bit of time. We're only two jumps away from the site. I had it in my hand, and it just... <sighs> okay. The car is back. Everything is fine. So we didn't end up going to Maya. We are here in Asterope. Like I said, we're going back. After all, I got one more sensor and three more guardian relics. Why wouldn't we try it again? Okay, we're back. Uh, uh, I would have brought the recording back sooner, but I was playing copywritten music while I was flying. <sighs> okay. I wanted to finish the song, alright? Leave me alone. <laughs> It's, it's whatever. We're here. We're, we're 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 having fun, okay? Or at least we're trying to. I don't know. Just this once, I would like to walk away from Thargoids with a profit, a marginal profit. I don't care if that ends up being the uh, stupid meta alloys we inevitably end up grabbing from this place. There's good. And now it's not for absolutely no reason. Okay. For God's sake, come on. There we go. Nice big patch of good. Okay. Apparently there's a human signal on this planet too. I wouldn't know anything about that. Alright, round two. Look at that, the shields aren't even all the way back up yet. No, off. They have to be off, otherwise I can't drive correctly. 
Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Was I inventory empty? No. And that's all the confirmation I need to drive straight on into the hornet's nest. Alright. Let's try it again. Same door and everything. Look at that. It's the, gl it's the glitch door. I call it the glitch door. Have the guns ready to go. Good. Alright. Not this time, scavengers. All right. <clears throat> Central. The Thargoid device. We meet again. Okay. This is our last sensor. And against my better judgment, I am dropping it here. Hmm? Why are you guys already staring me down? Get out of here! Ow! Did you just push me? Where'd he go? 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 There was one more. Jerks. Uh, try to rip apart my rover now, you jerks. Not today. I mean, you already did, but... Whatever. Whatever. Let's just do this. For the second time. And this time, even if we could only get one of them out of here, we have to, we have to go. I'm gonna try to get all three. But we have to do this. Okay. And now, activate the Thargoid device. It's gonna hate this. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Wait for it. Okay, jump for it. Didn't need to jump. Head for a different door. There we go. Try to keep the heat Low. Ish. Ish. Alright. How are we looking? 65, 60, yep. 60 and dropping. Okay. Going in for another. I'd rather not burn this rover. Not all the way, anyway. Right, hang on. This is the ramp. So, uh... Got it! That's two! Alright, heat's getting bad. Try to keep us from overheating. It'll keep the gun from malfunctioning, too, and we'll be able to... Actually, it's it's not, but whatever. Death of the scavengers is good too. All right. Where's the last one? I think it's that one. No, I 
it's, it's that one. Okay. Here's the ramp looking thing. I missed. It missed. Shit. Yeah, they do not want us in here. Not anymore. We have outstayed our welcome. They were halfway content with us the, f the last time we were here because we were messing with our own stuff. <sighs> Alright, maybe I could just, you know, climb up. Yeah, no, I could just climb up, actually. Alright, that's three. <sighs> we're leaving. Grab whatever we can on the way out. <sighs> Let's see if we could get more power in the shields. Hmm? Oh. It would help if we weren't being nipped at. <sighs> it's debris. We tripped on some debris. Relax. Shields are okay. Hull integrity, 95%. All we gotta do is find a door and we're out of here. Leave that go yeah, that goes back down into central. Got him. Is this a door out? Yes, it is. Please tell me we don't need the probe in order to open this. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> we did it. All right. The ship is still here somehow. By some miracle, they didn't come out here and attack it. <sighs> Got it. Those guys might, though. Okay. <sighs> I got it, for reals. <laughs> Caught that for reals. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm? Oh. I think they're mad at me, even out here. Okay. Not today, you little bastards. We did it. We got him. Somehow. <sighs> okay. What do we do with them? Okay, I've been thinking about this for a half an hour now. Ramta. The guy practically lives and breathes Guardian tech. And there's no way he wouldn't want to get a look at this thing. The guy built my frameshift booster. The guy built half of the modules aboard Calridian. Even this ship, Pegasus, is using some Guardian parts. Frameshift booster. Obviously. The man is legendary. You do need 50 classified scan data banks in order to get at him, though.
Huh. Look who has exactly 50. Incoming message. Speak of the devil. What'd I tell ya? Commander, whatever that is in your hold, I implore you to bring it to me at once. I recognize guardian markers in my sensor readings, but not in this configuration. Where did you find the relic? I simply must learn more. I'll prepare my workshop to receive your cargo at Phoenix Base. Oh, and apologies for scanning your ship uninvited. Standard procedure. What'd I tell ya? We're gonna make a new friend! Mm -hmm. Perfect way to kick off uh, this new nightmare of ours. So this is Phoenix Base. It's crossed my eyes. It's crossed my eye before, and I have occasionally thought about coming out here to uh, get the unlock, but it just never happened until now. So we're gonna. Uh, we're finally going to meet the man who designed Orbital flight engaged. all of our Guardian hybrid tech. That includes the Gauss cannons, the... By the way, you weren't there. You guys weren't there for the uh, shard launchers. That's right. I forget I didn't upload that video. But the Frameshift Drive Booster, our Guardian Hybrid Power Plant, our Guardian Power Distributors. All good stuff. Some of the best equipment in the game, honestly. Alright, I can see the tower. I don't know if you guys can on the YouTube compression, but... I'm trying to get us a better angle than this. Okay, here we go. Now I'll bring her down. Aim above it just a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Went ahead and turned on night vision. I've never met the man before. He sent us messages, but, uh... That was while we were out in Guardian space, uh, investigating Guardian stuff. This is all new. I don't know. Any Guardian tech that enters HIP-22460 gets very quickly destroyed down to 0% integrity. That's every gun and every module, even the frame shift booster. The harmless frame shift booster. <laughs> Maybe through this, Ramta or somebody else can come up with a solution so that that doesn't happen. Are you over, like, a, bo a borehole or something? That is a very big... I don't know, it's just a tower. I thought it w I thought I was going deep into, like, a crater. Clearance granted. Proceed to landing pad zero 06. Which one is zero 06? Oh, it's that. It's that thing. Okay. We're fine. She's just kind of loud. Should I be worried that there are holes in the landing pad? It needs to face the other way, doesn't it? Hang on. There we go. Gave her a little spin. Centered. 
And she's down. Landing operation complete. All right. System shut down. Welcome, Commander. Let's see here. Right. First things first. You're 50. Classified scan data bank. So that'll get us access to point defense, fuel transfer limpets, ECMs, prospectors, mostly limpet controllers. Oh, that's right. This one doesn't have the PDC. That's the other ship. Huh. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, see what's 1.1 mil! I'm keeping one. Just one. Because I had some ideas. I had some ideas on that. Thank you for bringing this relic to my workshop. My team's research will begin as soon as we're able. Should you recover any more of these, I'll pay you a suitable fee for each one. You could say guardian relics are a specialty of mine. Decoding this item could provide some new insight on our alien friends. Those extinct and those very much still active. I'll see you soon, of course. Hang on. Hang on one sec. I must meet the man, finally. God's sake, I bought a thousand of his... Uh -huh. We meet at last, Ramta. On everything and anything. One can never have enough information, Commander. No, I guess I can't. Well, I wasn't expecting the uh, exoskeleton. That's interesting. Well, anyway, we'll leave it off there. That is. That is elite dangerous for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. What am I planning to do with that last relic? I have an idea. But I don't know if it's going to work. If it does work, there will be a video. If not, then... I don't know. Uh, the credits will probably tell you. I don't know yet. We'll find out in the credits. It didn't work. I thought we could power up all the pylons around here and then cram a Thargoid Guardian hybrid thing into a data terminal and see if it would do something. And it didn't work. Yeah, kind of figured that someone might have tried that already.